I mean, they're why my reason for art. I like to create. Simple as that. Now you may have a follow-up question of why glass. I found that the community that when I engaged myself with this medium connected me more to the moment of making than any other material I've worked with. My name is Percy Eccles II. Um, I work at the Pittsburgh Glass Center as an independent creative as well as the pioneer for plasma and neon art development. Now what do I do as an alchemist? Primarily work with furnace blown glass. I make various blown sculptures. Sculptures that now I like to illuminate that are both interactive by proximity and touch. I think my career took off even within undergrad. It, don't underestimate the connections you make then and there. It started with connecting with the people that are actually doing the work. Either they're my instructors and I'm through them building into taking workshops other places and connecting with those people at other institutions and that sort of back and forth of jumping around and trying different things. This is gonna be like sort of a, uh, a common theme throughout the years is trying different things, meeting different people that I gain a, more pieces of the puzzle that start to fit together. I think the question about were there challenges that I experienced that didn't have to do with me as a person, but a person of color. Um, and I think for the most part, I try to ignore that a lot or have been ignorant of it. But when the moments of those veils kind of fluttering open by bigger moments, I think the challenges um, were just a matter of communicating, really. Say you have someone like myself and then someone who's had a gallery career that, that's like 10 or so years ahead of me, the person who's a bigger name is treated with a greater sense of urgency and respect and catering than someone they also invited to assist in kind of uplifting. And that disparity is what's unfair. Um, you need to treat both the people who are emerging in this position or somewhere in the middle point towards that where they want to be in a certain professional sphere that we see people that are making a lot more of attention there. They need to be treated the same. I was really fortunate when Percy came here as he's someone that I look up to within the Goss community. Um, I think it's always amazing when you can bring artists in, but even more special when you can bring artists that you um, admire and you draw inspiration from. Um, something that I think we were really conscious about when we were putting together the series was how we were bringing people into the space and what it meant to bring people like that into the space. Um, I think Angus and I were both very cognizant of the fact that um, these guys are professionals, but not only are they professionals, but they're also coming into an educational space. And how are we treating them with not only the utmost respect, but how are we building bridges and creating moments of collaboration between students and these incredible artists? I'm currently a second semester senior, so I guess this is the time where a lot of people are starting to reflect, apart from just being stressed about senior shows. Um, and something that I've been, you know, reflecting a lot about is, you know, uh, what, like, what have I contributed to the Alfred community? I think, you know, being, beyond just being a Saxon, but thinking about, you know, how am I, um, how am I leaving this university better than I found it, I think. And so I think my biggest accomplishment, or one of my biggest accomplishments, were the Black Glass Artist series. And I think the reason why I feel that is not only do I think that it's affected and impacted a lot of people, but it also took me and Angus a long time for it to work. You know, I think back freshman year, second semester, I started writing the proposal all the way now I'm a senior and now it's finally like, you know, this is our second year, which is crazy. So I think it was the fact that it took so much stamina, it took so much time, it took so much collaboration, working with different brands like Olympic Color Rod, putting together the auction, um, you know, writing more proposals, you know, asking donors for money, like all these different things that it took to finally get to this point. Um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for um, a better legacy to leave behind. Something that I guess that gives me hope and that gives me joy is one, hopefully I can, shout out to me, hopefully I can come back as an artist. 
Um, but more so, I feel like in the shop that, in the culture that has been cultivated because people like Angus, I'm not scared about what's next. I'm not scared about where the series is going to go because I know it, it's, there is another generation of glass blowers in our hot shop and creatives in our hot shop that will keep this torch going. I want to thank every single person who donated a piece to an auction or, you know, uh, helped drive artists to the airport or helped assist artists or anything like that. I want to shout out and do a, big, do a big thank you to my Glass senior class because without them, this would not have been possible because they've seen me, they've seen this process grow and they've seen all the different steps along the way and they've always been there for me and Angus to support us to make this happen, to make this work. And so in a lot of ways, because it's grown to be, become something that is beyond me and is just a staple within our community, um, I, I, don't, I don't feel like it's a goodbye, I feel like it's, I'll see you soon.